Hi, welcome to this video about Arch Linux D and then we're going to install Debian. So we followed our tutorial. Let's have a look at this website here. So we have um, Arch Linux D. We've, uh, it's mid July uh, 2018 as also an Arch Linux B Debian out. And uh, of course, if there is a B out, there should be a D out. So the D is here. And um, the deeping gallery is, uh, we can take a look at it. We'll add more pictures once we installed everything. And uh, we have here everything to explain you. So this is the article we're making today. Now, this video is about the installation of Article Linux D. That's one thing. We've done that. We followed this tutorial. And we're in phase two already, except don't forget to do this. So I should remember to do this. And then phase two, we're going to install deeping. And then it's just fun, you know, you just install, you get scripts and you can edit scripts. It's not that difficult. Just delete a line to not have Firefox or add uh, OBS Studio to have it or Steam and so on. So it's up to you to make these scripts your own. That's up to you to decide what you want on your system. And just give a selection and you just uh, evaluate. So we have this black screen uh, and we have to log in. That's the first thing. And I, there are three things you should remember. First one is the mirror. So that the fastest Arch servers um, have been listed to your system. So he's looking around and he's saying, okay, I'm living in Belgium. What are the fastest servers here in the neighborhood? And that's done. So now we can update our thing. So every once in a while, and Arch is um, well, well known for that, a lot of updates. But uh, often you see here net upgrade size 0 0.09 megabytes. So that's really nothing, really. Okay, that's done. And um, then we have also a, so that's the, that's the part update, is the part from Arch Linux and Arch Linux. But the AUR part, if we run this one behind it, then this will only update uh, AUR. But basically, I always use the last one, and that's an alias. For now, it's uh, this alias, Yahoo, etc. So if we change our uh, um, AUR helper, because that's what Yahoo is, we just have to change this line in the alias and it stays the same. Our PKS YUA is always going to be that one. The alias will change. Okay, that being said, um, it's up to us now to go to phase two. Let's move it over here. So you see phase two. Okay, we're going to git clone stuff. I'm just going to follow along and see if I've made any typos so that the article is correct. Git clone HTTPS. GitHub.com. This is based on Arch Linux D. So the D stands for choose your desktop. We're different. Um, decide the desktop, right? As, as you see it in the info text. So Arch Linux D, Arco, and then Debing. So the last thing here is i3, Mate, GNOME, Awesome, BSP, WM, i3, XFC, OpenBot. We have now 11. This is the newest one, Arco Debing. And we have, we have to navigate inside this folder. This change directory, CD, gives us a bunch of files. And it says here, on the web that you need to run the scripts from the smallest number to the largest number. Now the first one we are going to run is the one telling hey please use all the power we have. We have four cores. Use them. So that's done. Otherwise you'll choose use just one and it will take a long time for all the AUR packages to build. Number 100 is important. That's uh, the one that's going to take care of our uh, system here, of our um, installation of display and so on. I was thinking because he was asking the Linux headers and um, I can actually improve the, um, the script here. In my meantime, while this was running, I've improved the script already, so you don't have to press yes on that uh, particular line there. And um, that's been done. So next time you run it, you won't see it. A lot of stuff has to come in. 
and it's just uh, telling here um, I can actually open and show you what you've done and then you can see also what's happening here let's close up some stuff no confusion so this is what he's doing this is what I added so no confirm and needed so it's actually this part that is going to install deeping and the deeping extra that's it basically another all the rest are things to well make it uh, either nice for a wallpaper or um, of course make sure that lightium boots and all that now the more technical explanation you can see that in the link on the website it's done so basically at this point in time we actually could reboot um, I've tried it and why not just do it together with you guys you'll see already something graphical but normally I don't do that normally I stay in the terminal and keep running all the scripts and depending on the desktop you could have a go at it but it's not a guaranteed success because some of the elements are actually in 600 for instance and 500 so it won't uh, boot or it won't start at some in some desktops now since a uh, friendly reminder he knows that i'm working virtual box and he says hey what do you want effect mode common mode now the common mode is just um less window effects and effect mode is with window effects so i like the window effects and there we go now at this point in time there's a little music that's playing so and the deeping is uh, configured to have all kinds of sounds and all that and so yep that's uh, pretty neat so there you go we have already after one script something nicer to look at anyway we need to continue of course so we go to arc deeping so we just run that one and that one that's it so if you want to have sound uh, I probably wouldn't have worked the sound uh, depends on what they've put in their uh, deeping and deeping extra there anyway we'll just continue our way so we have here open in terminal which I can theme by the way which I don't like this kind of look I like a little bit more transparent so I can see through it maybe a little bigger for the picture here with the video and all kind of stuff which I don't need and don't want so this is good for me Hopla. and that one goes goes there like so and we're off again so we have 110 and we'll see if it skips a lot of things and it is was already installed so we're skipping some stuff uh, not, not much as must say just one line i think i saw bluetooth if you want it yeah if you need it nothing was installed it seems and then your printers if you want to have a printer attached you want the functionality you may need to install separate drivers for your printers it's not that uh, straightforward and sometimes you need to find it on the AUR Samba is for sharing your files with somebody else and he wants to give the person Eric uh, access with the password Eric and again type it again so now somebody can got, go come onto my machine of course if I have set everything up uh, with login Eric and then password Eric and that's done and if you want to go and navigate to your um, NAS and all that then you need to run 150 then we are at 200 200 is going to run all the arch linux repos so the source source matters i mean it's coming straight from arch and um, you can edit this file if you don't want to have similar well we don't want to have stuff open so you can cancel run and display let's display I don't like this display open with a vim select default application there was an application there is a mouse pad set as default is here checked so better right view 
font screen, no. Select font, yeah. Bigger, select. Oh, what's he doing? For references, let's go there. Here you are. Okay, everybody can read this. So whatever you don't like, you don't want to see matrix, it's fun and all that, but hey, you have seen it all. So you save this, but put a hashtag in front of it. So later on, we'll update our GitHub, you get it back, you have your own, script, your own change scripts by then, then you compare what we changed and what you have, and do that with Melt, and it will be super easy to follow along after an update. So it's up to you to say, I don't want this, I do want that, and it's all changeable just a hashtag in front of it that's it so now if i run 200 it will not be installed but i just run 200 so everything is installed already okay and this is coming from the aor this may take a little bit longer why is aor longer because it's not built yet you need to download it and to build everything i've done a lot a lot of it is is out already um Discord is coming from us, from our uh, system, from the third party repo, which is going to be faster. Oh, uh, doesn't do that. What is he doing? Our Conkey. So he's making this one. And now he's installing Discord. And this is coming from the three, uh, 3P, three party repo. That's it. So it's already installed. It's that fast now. Discord was taking like forever to install, and we're bored with it. It's like, hey, no, this cannot continue any longer. So we made a three third party repo. Uh, so a lot of things um, you might think of not installing Temps or not installing Winstick, which I would not recommend. This is your go to, um, your application that will always successfully burn an ISO of any Linux system on your USB. So that is awesome. I would not delete that one. But you just go ahead and see if you want Dropbox, if you want InSync, if you want Vivaldi, G Radio. But the first time would say install everything and then you're going to select and you have a paper and you write, no, I don't want this. No, don't use this. No, I don't that. use that. Then you go into file and you go and, and edit everything. So waiting for this um, installation to finish, we are at Sublime Text now. I'm pausing. Let me include something in the video. Here we see InSync. InSync is a big chunk of file, which normally is way too big for GitHub. The maximum is, I think, 50 megabytes. So it says, hey, it's failed to retrieve. He wants to download it, and it's not downloaded. So InSync was not successful, and we'll rerun it later. Okay, it's time to decide to install our VirtualBox elements. They are there because VirtualBox is dependent on the Linux kernel. So we either have a Linux or a Linux LTS and all that matters. So if you switch and um, then you'll get a, a correct prompt. So that's why we need to say yes. Here, Hardcode Fixer is going to check our icons and there are always icons still after all these years. Four icons that needs to be changed. Okay, done that. So that means that um, we need to go to number arrow up, number 400. Again, we are at Arch, but this time this name is a little bit different. It says distro specific, so it means things that are necessary for this one. Um, okay, and then 500 is the same idea this was specific but this time the source is come coming from the arch user repository and yet is something we need if we want the conky and by wonder our conkeys just work it's not that um, easy it's never easy conkeys on a desktop environment so you sometimes have to change just a line or so but for a beginner well if it does not work out of the box where to look you know it's just one line you need to change, but um, hey, what line? So 600 is everything that's coming from Arco. 
Oh, let me break this thing here. Did I see a mistake? Moving it up. This one is one element we should not install. So I'm going to pause the video here and going to uh, make the screen. So let's um, add some more knowledge to this video. Non intended to, but uh, so this line up here is not correct. Uh, this line. So the arc themes are not interesting to have on uh, deeping. So that's in line 600. So what did I do? I put the hashtag in front of this one, right? But at this point in time, you don't see it. So let's assume today uh, we are, I don't know, 17 or something in July. And a month later, you're going to check again what did I change about these? What did I change inside this um, GitHub? The only thing you have to do is keep the GitHub, keep it open. Don't zip it, but git clone it. And then, oh, sorry, you need to git pull. So get everything from the net again. And then you'll see that my change here, I've changed something here and changed something here. Then it's up to you to, to see, hey, what's going on? There's this application melt. Use two folders, your folder, our folder, compare the two, done, melt. A few minutes later, you're back up to date. So what did I change? You get pulled it, it's a month later. And indeed, I've put a hashtag in front of this one. You see? So that's how we improve and update. And all you need to do is always get this new script, this new ideas that we have, and new applications we run and all that. Now, I made a mistake here. So in the sense that it's already installed. So I don't want it to be installed. So another tutorial, we remove stuff with an R, Arca Linux, Arc themes are out again. Bye. So they're not useful to have around in deeping. It's as simple as that. There is an Arc theme, which is enough because it's only going to color the borders and all the rest is not applicable. All the colors, we don't see them. So Arc is out, no problem. And let's continue 600 because it installed some stuff. And as you can see, doesn't mind it, rerunning it. And that's the fun in the scripting here. It just skips. So if it's already installed, it just skips and it's just fine. So just rerun the scripts. 700 is going to fix our fonts. Fonts are fonts for the system, but also fonts for the conkeys, which is 710. So if we want to have a beautiful conkey, just you watch and you see something on the net, it's a wow, beautiful conkey. It's often the font that does it. Now, if you want to auto login, then you need to num uh, run this one. So auto login is going to check uh, who are you. And he's going to add you as a user for auto login. First time I ran this one. Yes, and yes, and yes. So what's your choice is going to tell that the auto login is this one and auto login session is deeping. So, okay, fine. So my name is Eric, my dear friends, auto login, done and away. Some of us have this uh, 900 issue. I'm, I'm meaning this microcode error thing. If you don't see anything when you boot up, don't run it. And if you run it, it doesn't hurt either. So there you go. We have that done. This, this concludes actually our installation and the first installation. The next one is the personal one and um, that's for another video. So we've added a lot of applications. Spotify is there, I see. Konkizen is here. Uh, Melt is here. All these blue things here, those things were now installed and can be used. We can show these elements like this. We can show it back like that. We can click here and then I have this. It's just so damn beautiful. Sorry, I said a swear word. But it really is a beautiful desktop and uh, we'll continue the video later.